Hello everyone and welcome back to Naomi's Bookshelf. We're doing an open call for Buddy Reads today. I love buddy reading with people. I find it's one of my favorite ways to read any book, whether it be a huge classic or a novella. I love discussing books with people. That's why I started a YouTube channel. That's why I wanted to start discussing books with people. That's why I go to book club. I love discussing books. And some of my favorite books I have read have been buddy reads. Buddy reads have made me read books that I have loved and loved them more. Buddy reads have made me read books that I hated and read them actually understanding better or push me to finish them when I didn't want to. Buddy reads have really done incredible things for me and I would love to buddy read with you no matter who you are. Whether you make videos or you don't, I would love to buddy read with you. So this is kind of an open call for making uh, buddy read plans with you. I have several different ways that I do buddy reads and we can just talk about it quickly here. Um, I typically use Instagram and Voxer as my two main sources for discussing the books that I buddy read. I also do it on Goodreads, but that's my least preferred way, but that's not an awful way either. So Voxer is my favorite way to discuss buddy reads. I think I'd love doing it with the talking aspect. Voxer is something like using a walkie talkie, but it's an app on your phone. I think you can also use it on your computer and you just press a button, you can talk and then you can release the button and suddenly you have shared your thoughts in a talking format. I think it's a great way to share your feelings and about the book or about a section. You can also label it so you can type, you know, chapter one through five and then share your thoughts without giving spoilers. And then the person who has not read it yet won't be spoiled until they have read those sections and then they can listen to that um, audio clip. That's one of my favorite ways of doing a buddy read. I also do it on Instagram, which is another great way, just sharing thoughts on a regular basis, typing messages back and forth on there, and then Goodreads as well, sending a message back and forth using that platform. I also, in case you're wondering how often for buddy reads do I message back and forth with people, it really depends on the book. When I have read an Agatha Christie, I definitely prefer every day. I've also done it for a Ruth Ware, where I read it with Emily from Novel Novels. Also, I'll mention if I talk about any booktubers, I will link everyone in the description box so you can check out their channels. So I read The Turn of the Key with uh, Emily and we discussed that on Instagram, a section per day, and then I messaged her every day about it. She messaged me as well every day about that section. So every day was the best way to do our mystery or thriller because you don't want to drag it out. Um, I've also read several historical fictions on a weekly basis. So you read four chapters, sometimes 10 chapters. It depends on um, nonfiction is also something I've read in that kind of format where 10 chapters or whatever it is over the course of a week. So you have a longer period of time to really just either binge read it if you want to, which is my preferred way of doing it, or if some people like to read it over the course of the seven days. So that is another way I, I have read it, um, typically checking in on the weekend. Also, sometimes it's every other week or a set date, however it works. Um, I have definitely used buddy reads to motivate me into reading books that I have not enjoyed. And sometimes I have fallen behind as my cousin Megan will <laughs> probably attest to. We have a very funny relationship with buddy reading. We have read so many books together over the course of our lives, countless, literally countless books. But Wuthering Heights, I remember distinctly, she was reading, we were planning on reading one chapter a day. I don't remember if it was two chapters a day. I think it was one. Anyways, I like to binge read them. 
So she would read one chapter a day and we were using Voxer. So she would share her thoughts on Voxer and then I would binge read five chapters in a row. So then I would listen to those five sections and then I'd share my thoughts from the full five chapters on Voxer. So that was how I would share my thoughts. So that is an option for how I read Buddy Reads. Now I have some Buddy Reads planned um, through May and then I don't have any Buddy Reads for June. July, I have somewhat of a Buddy Read going on until September, but I still can fit in some Buddy Reads. And then all the way through the rest of the year, I don't have any other re Buddy Reading plans. So I would love to have more Buddy Reads scheduled. If you would like to Buddy Read with me, please send me a message. I would love to buddy read with you, whether you're just a subscriber, whether you have similar interests to me, or you want to read a similar book that I have on my TBR, and you have different opinions of me in a lot of books, but you still want to read the same book, that would be fun to have differing opinions. I read Villette with Tori from Hufflepuff Discovery, and we had such different opinions on Villette. But that made the reading experience such an interesting one because it made us actually discuss about points about it that maybe we hadn't thought about before. So I'm happy to discuss parts of a book with someone who doesn't agree about those parts with me because that's what makes books interesting. You don't have to love everything about a book with someone who you're discussing it with. That's why I love book clubs too. Anyways, now, when I say this also, like you can totally reach out to me on Instagram. You can leave a comment in this video. You can reach out to me on Goodreads. Any of the platforms that I have listed below, I have an email if you want to email me there and like leave me an email with um, your Voxer username, totally there. And a book you want to read, anything like that. If I have a book on my shelves that you want to read and I own it, let me know because even if I read it before, I'll probably want to reread it, like genuinely. I just love rereading books and I love connecting with people on a deeper level than just making a video and talking about it in the comments because it's so much more personal when I'm messaging someone about it. That's what I love. Now, the biggest question I guess with this whole topic would be how do you know what books that I have not read yet? Now I have a Goodreads shelf, which has many of these books on it, even if it doesn't have all of them. I also have my hauls this year, which have a lot of the books that you can totally comment on or look to those hauls. Um, I have my unread Victorian classics video that I put out, which I have all my Victorian classics up there. And that video you can totally check out if you want to read a Victorian classic with me. Um, any video I mentioned in a TBR, you can totally message me about, and that, that works. I think I put out a complete mysteries shelf tour that I haven't read or a want to read shelf tour of my mysteries, I think. So I have a few videos out, but if you see anything in a video that, um, I have posted like that, like, just let me know because honestly, I'll probably say yes. Nine times out of 10, actually more like 99 times out of 100, I'll probably say yes. So please, I would love to buddy read some more books. I found some amazing friends through buddy reading books. I have made some great bookish friends through this process. And honestly, it's been a joy to develop these relationships with people all over the world <laughs> literally all over the world just because we were reading books together and discovering things we had in common or things we didn't have in common and it made us connect because we were not just commenting on each other's videos but because we were actually communicating um in a much more, much more personal way so please please buddy read with me i want to make it stronger i want to make it more personal and a deeper connection with those in my community and those who are subscribed and those who are in my bookish world because that's what's really important to me. Anyways, I hope that you take me up on this offer. Like I said, June is wide open. Um, if you would like to let me know a book that you want to read, a time frame that you would like to read it in, 
That would be amazing. It's much easier when you can tell me uh, a time or, or season than I can squeeze you into winter or a month as opposed to just saying, I can read this book, whatever, and then it might not work for you. But if you say, I can read this book in the fall, we might be able to make it work more timely. So yeah, that's my thoughts for today. Please, like I said, buddy read with me. Also, if you are new here, please subscribe. And if you would like to, please like this video and please comment down below with a book that you would like to buddy read with me. If you'd like to buddy read with me, I would love to buddy read with you. Whoever you are, wherever you are in the world, I would love to. I hope to talk to you in my next video. Bye for now.